welcome back to my channel, Storytime Tuber. Today, I will be reading When You Are Brave by Pat Zitlow Miller, illustrated by Eliza Wheeler, creators of Wherever You Go. Let's begin. Some days, when everything around you seems scary, you have to be brave. Brave as a bird that steps from its nest, hoping to soar through the sky. Brave as a dog that wanders for miles, searching for one well-known light. Brave as a caterpillar that builds a bed, wondering when it will wake. Because some days are full of things you'd rather not do. Like plunging into a pool all by yourself, hoping you'll swim and not sink. Or standing alone in front of a crowd searching for one friendly face. Or boarding the bus and riding to school, wondering what lies ahead. At times like these, the world can seem too big, too loud, too hard, too much. While you feel too small, too quiet, too tired, not enough. On those days, look deep inside to find the courage you need. It might be hidden away, but if you close your eyes and breathe, you will see it, shining its light in the dark, warm, steady, safe. Your light might be small to start, just a spark, but you can turn it into a flame. Picture it in your mind, then imagine it becoming bigger and bolder. You can make your courage so big it brightens your heart, fills your fingers, and flows to your toes. Think about what you're good at, something you love, or someone who loves you. No one else will see it, but you know you glow, and you know you are ready. No matter how deep the water, how loud the crowd, how hard the ride, or how much there is to do, you might struggle, you might succeed, people might clap, or laugh, or not notice at all. No matter what happens, you'll be all right. Because once you find your courage, it's easy to use again and again. The next time life seems scary or you start something new, you can remember when you were brave. And then you can stand straight and walk tall. Knowing you are as brave as a bird, a dog, and a caterpillar. As brave as you. I hope you enjoyed this book. Until next time, let's read again. Thanks for watching. Bye.